in three, two, one. Hey everybody, I'm Joel McHale and this is everything I do in a day. Oh, see that? Mm. I can wake up anywhere between seven and even 9.30 if I've stayed up really late doing stuff. And my wife is very nice to kind of take that. I take the kind of late shift and she kind of takes the early shift. I will get out of bed, relieve myself. And then I, you know, it's the pandemic. So I put either the exact same pair of shorts I have on or a fresh, nearly identical pair of shorts on. And then usually I'll put on a tank top in hopes that I'll be working out. I get down the stairs and I, my finger is leading to that machine and bam. And then I pour myself a cup of coffee and I can go <sighs> panic. Then I'll have a multivitamin maybe. And then maybe a probiotic. I know I have no idea what those do. And I'll take a Propecia as men of my age and hairline do. I recommend it for many of them, as long as it doesn't affect your sex drive, it doesn't affect mine. So at that point, my 15 year old will probably be on his laptop. The school has is about to begin, uh, but he's checking a couple of things. So then uh, they will go to Zoom school. My wife goes back and forth and if I'm here work, not working, then I will do some back and forth. But the kids know how much much smarter my wife is. She was a straight A student. I'm like super dyslexic and cheated and got terrible grades. So they smartly, and it really shows that evolution works, they tend toward the smarter and more attractive people. And so now we're at about mid-morning and I'm usually either on a Zoom call or I am on the phone for work of some sort, pacing around the outside of my house, the inside of my house, and people will be asking me questions during that time, to which I'll go. Then I'm hoping I get to exercise uh, because I am, you know, um, I'm going through a midlife crisis and I'm a narcissist and um, it's good for you. I like to jump rope now. That's the thing that I've been doing because running every day can, it's, there's a lot of pounding. So you just don't want to, uh, you don't want to do that every day unless you're a young person and just just gazelle your way through life, that's fine. So I like to jump rope. I, I, I'm up to about 40 minutes of jumping rope. Not, I can't, it's not, it's not the, you know, the whole time. I hit my feet, so I got started over a couple times. And then I like to lift weights. I listen to books endlessly and very seldomly music. Uh, once in a while, I've been listening to a Rufus Wainwright's new album. Unfollow the rules, but I usually will just listen to a book. I listen to a lot of sci-fi and a lot of fantasy because it's a it's like an escape, and I can kind of kind of check out for a little bit and and then check back in. Audible is like for being a, d a dyslexic person, Audible has been a savior. I don't shower after workouts because <laughs> I'm at home and I'm like, well, if I if I'm super sweaty, then I'll do it, especially if I'm super sweaty, but. If I'm not really that sweaty, I don't even bother. I'm always thinking I'm constantly behind, which I usually am, but uh, I'm always catching up. So as soon as I'm done, I'm like, Pew! I'm, I'm, I'm on to the next thing, which is not necessarily a healthy way to live. Then usually it's time for lunch of some sort. I usually don't eat anything until lunch, not out of like I'm on a starvation diet. I just get that cup of coffee going, that satiates me. Once in a while, I'll fry an egg up. There's a taco place, and then there's a uh, there's a really great cafe called uh, Aroma Cafe. Cactus uh, is the name of the taco place, so we'll go there. My son will get a chicken wrap, the other gets a turkey burger, and we have one rabbit, and uh, sadly one of our rabbits passed away, and uh, we have this one rabbit, and um, I'll, I will feed the rabbit. Then now it's post-lunch, and there could be a myriad of things that have to be done. Obviously home maintenance is a constant. Sometimes I will go grocery shopping. I have a, a this SUV, it's a 1990 Toyota Land Cruiser, and it's the car from my high school. So it is the car I always wanted as a kid and I have it. So it's got stripes on it, made by a guy named Brian Corsetti. He did it all great in Corsetti Cruisers. And I will 
get in that car and go to a myriad of different places. Usually uh, there's a Gelson's Market, sometimes there's a Ralph's. Uh, sometimes my kids will want like a Frappuccino from Starbucks, which we'll let them have sometimes. Uh, I like to just call it the Starbucks milkshake. Then it, it could be a day of me going to a place to record something or uh, usually an appearance on a game show, or uh, boy, it depends on the day, or Zoom call heaven. I'll take my uh, 12 year old to go play football. My kids love the Fortnite, they like uh, Oculus, and so they'll do, they get to do some of that, and then we try to get them to do homework, which they're about as successful as my parents were with me trying to do homework. We'll sit on the couch together, we'll watch a Bob's Burgers, usually. That's a, that's a show that brings the whole family together, or a Simpsons, but it's been Bob's lately, and I love that show, and it makes me laugh hard. Like, I'm not someone who laughs very easily, and I lose it. We will start dinner cooking the prep, so I get into it. Um, it depends on what it is. If I'm roasting a whole chicken, I'll start roasting that chicken at about 4.30 or 5, and that chicken will be ready around 6 or 6.10. By the way, one of the simplest recipes to do. You just take a chicken, you can put almost any rub you want on the outside of it, make sure you pat that thing down. You can shove a half a lemon into the cavity of the chicken, put it on a cookie sheet or whatever you want, throw it in the oven at like 450 for an hour and 10 minutes, perfect. Make sure it's on the lowest rack. I make salad dressing in advance uh, with yuzu paste, that's my big secret, which is a Japanese citrus fruit, which turns into this really salty, wonderful paste. My boys love pasta, and so we'll make them that. I like to mix it up with rice or boil, I like to boil a potato days in advance and then cut them up and then fry them. That's good stuff. I go to the farmer's market on Sundays, almost every Sunday. I will go to the farmer's market. It supports local farms. It's super fresh and it's cheaper than a grocery store. I look forward to the dishes actually. I don't mind them because it's a way of kind of winding down the evening. And once I get towards the end of the dishes, I'm usually watching cable news at that point, or I will listen to a book on Audible through my phone. I will feed the dogs, I will feed the rabbits, rabbit, again. I will wrap up those dishes and then I'll go, hmm, can I play a video game? Can I hop on and play some Call of Duty or Battlefield or something like that with a couple of friends, Chris Mintz class, you know, McLovin, Sean Brown, we are on the great indoors together with Chris, and then my friend Boyd Vico, we also play. If I'm lucky, that's like, one hour every two weeks. And I usually will have opened a bottle of red wine and or had a beer earlier. I like the red, my wife likes white. And then I'll open up five more bottles and I'll down those one after the other. And then I'll go to a fraternity party. Then it's like, okay, I think it's time to go to bed. I'll go lock all the doors to everything because that gives me a sense of security because people couldn't just, you know, reach through the window and unlock it. That's, these are the fantasies that I have. But we have such loud dogs that I'm not really worried about it. I will take the garbage out, do the recycling. I gotta walk past our garage to do that. And usually there's some sort of varmint making a noise, whether that's a squirrel, sometimes once in a while a coyote, definitely a skunk or two. I'll make sure the garage is closed and I'll make sure the garage door is closed, uh, that, you know, all that stuff. Then I'll put that little pot of soap in the dishwasher and I'll start that thing up. I will brush my teeth for a long, long time before I go to bed. And that's where I would end up watching a television show for 15 minutes because I will floss the hell out of my teeth. Do, a, do the brushing, then hydrogen peroxide, 3%. I swish with that for a good 10, 15 minutes. And people go like, oh, no. Haven't had a cavity in 10 years because of it. it. Keeps my teeth white and keeps those cavities away. There is no skincare. I don't even wash my face and people go like, you're a monster. I don't know why, I don't, it's just, I don't, I just never thought my face must be covered in dirt before I go to bed, so I'm gonna wash it. I don't wear pajamas, I just wear underwear. Or maybe shorts, depending, and then I'll crawl into the bed and move around the myriad of dogs that are trying to get close to my wife. I'll just crawl into bed and then I'll be checking my phone. I'm like, I know I shouldn't be checking my phone in bed. So that's gone on for 10 years, the, not, the checking of my phone when I know I probably shouldn't be in bed. I'm Joel McHale, and that's every boring thing I do in a day. Wait a minute, is it that boring? The cooking's exciting.